When my lender just told me about a second home purchase, I almost fell out of my seat. You're gonna wanna listen into this video to learn a little bit more about how you can buy a second home. And no, I'm not talking about an investment property. You can buy a second home with as little as 10% down. So let's get on into the video. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Pyle. I'm your go-to Chicago realtor. If you have any questions about the Chicago real estate market, feel free to schedule a real estate strategy call down below in the description. Or maybe if you're buying a second home in Chicago, feel free to reach out. We'd love to chat with you about the Chicago market, learn a little bit more about your real estate goals and how we can help. So without further ado, let's get on into this video because I think this is something that you're definitely gonna wanna take advantage of because I sure know that I am. So a couple days ago, my lender, Justin Lapotten with Guaranteed Rate, he actually told me and he actually put a video out on social media about the ability for people to buy a second home with as little as 10% down. And I was like, no way, because typically, you know, with a primary residence, you can buy something for, let's just say, as little as three and a half percent down with an FHA loan. Typically, more commonly, about five or 10% is what most primary residence people are putting down for their home purchase. And for an investment property, you normally need about 20 to 25%. So a second home purchase actually has some different guidelines. And these are gonna be all the different things that you need to make sure um, in terms of guidelines. And I'm gonna read through this list so that you know how you can go buy a second home. So for example, for myself, I live in the city of Chicago. Later this year, I wanna buy a property in Florida. I wanna buy something either in like Fort Lauderdale or potentially Miami, Delray Beach area, kind of where my lender's located actually in Delray Beach, uh, because I wanna be able to escape the winter in Chicago for the winter time. And I wanna be able to live in, in Florida. I'm gonna get my Florida real estate license. So a second home purchase was something that really stuck out to me. And with everything happening with the pandemic the last couple of years, I know a lot of people want to be able to move around. They want to go live in different places, travel, visit different areas. So a second home purchase is something that you might want to consider. So let's run through the guidelines of how to buy a second home. Okay. So first thing, like I said, 10% down payment requirement. So lower down payment than an investment property, a little bit more than a primary residence, but for 10% down on a $500,000 purchase price, let's just say 50,000, maybe a 450 purchase price once you add in all the fees and closing costs and things like that, but that's absolutely incredible. So the next piece of this is that you have lower interest rates compared to investment properties. So I have heard that this might increase because a lot of people are actually taking advantage of this and the government doesn't want people to be over leveraged by owning too many properties. So the next thing up is typically this property has to be 50 miles or more from your primary residence. So you can't own a property in one neighborhood, for example, right where I'm located here in Chicago, and I can't just go buy a second home down the street. I have to buy something that's at least 50 miles away. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory there. Um, I wouldn't really wanna buy another home here necessarily right in the same area anyways, so I need to make sure I'm at least going 50 miles out. For another example, I could maybe buy a second home where I'm from in Fort Wayne, Indiana, or maybe I wanna buy one in Denver, Colorado, or in Austin. And what you'll learn later is maybe I can do all this. Maybe I can buy all of those homes if I really want to. So we'll get into that here in a second. The next thing up is you can buy this second home with the intention of Airbnb in it or renting it seasonally. So maybe you want to you know, live there a few months out of the year, three or four months like myself in Florida, for example, or uh, maybe you wanna rent this out to family and friends and just have a place for people to go and you can share this space with them. You are able to do that under the second home guidelines. So here's one of the restrictions, which I don't think it's a huge issue, but just to debunk anything that you might be thinking in your head, this has to be a one unit property. So you have to buy something, whether it be a single condo, a single family home, or a town home, you cannot buy a two to four unit property or even a multifamily. Now, back to the idea of owning multiple homes, multiple second homes in different states. You can do that. And the kicker here, to summarize the kind of the final pieces of this video, is you have to be able to qualify for the debt on all of these properties without using any of the income from those properties. So if you're renting these properties out and you're getting income from that, you cannot use that income to qualify you based on your debt to income ratio. You have to be able to cover personally all of the debt based on all the different properties you want to purchase. So if you have two different properties, you have to be able to afford your primary residence and your second home without taking income from the second home or from your primary residence. Typically, you're not renting out your primary residence, um, but normally for an investment property, and the difference, you know, obviously a higher interest rate, but typically lenders will give you about 75% of the income of that property and they'll apply that to your debt to income ratio so that you can ultimately afford more. You cannot do that under the second home guidelines, 
But as long as you can cover the mortgage of all the different homes that you want to buy as a second home, then you are able to buy as many of these as you want. So maybe you wanna buy one in Austin, Texas, maybe you wanna buy one in Miami, Florida, maybe Denver, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Michigan. You could buy all those as long as you can qualify for it. So for high income earners, you could see how this can be a very lucrative and attractive investment by only having to put 10% down. So those are all the guidelines of the second home mortgage. If these things change, I will make another video uh, in the future future, as I mentioned, the interest rates might start going up a little bit more kind of to be in line more with an investment property versus a primary residence like they are today. Uh, but even with that, still with 10% down versus 20 or 25, you're saving a lot of dry powder and you're not having to deploy that into these second homes. So for somebody that has some cash sitting around, a second home purchase may be a really good idea. So if you are thinking about buying a second home, possibly here in Chicago, maybe you live in another state and you want to own a condo here or a single family home in the city, feel free to hit me up and I'd love to chat with you about about your real estate goals, where you're coming from, how soon you might need one. I can also put you in touch with my lender, Justin Lapot, and with Guaranteed Rate. He is the one that brought this to my attention, and he's gonna be the best person to talk to about all the ins and outs about your particular situation and what you need to know about you purchasing your second, your third, or fourth, fifth, sixth home in a different market. So I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please do me a favor and like and comment on this video. And before you go, please be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can catch all the future videos just like this one. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.